as the insecurity in the country has taken another turn with the Fulani headsmen killing, maiming, and causing havoc, wrecking havoc all over the country, with the federal government refusing to proscribe the Fulani headsmen, people are left with no option than to take their own destinies in their own hands. As it is, the nature community has taken their own destiny in their own hands by floating a new security outfit to help curtail the rising insecurity in their community. According to a Twitter user at Namdi Anana, who shared the information on his Twitter landu, this move was necessary in order to stem the tide of insecurity in our nature community. Namdi Abana said, to stem the tide of insecurity in Onicha, community leaders floating, community, community leaders have floated uh, Onicha Addo security network. Following the insecurity in Anambra State, especially Onicha and its environs communities in Onicha, they just floated a new security outfit, a vigilante network to fight criminals. This is coming on the heels of incident killings of hoodlums, unknown gunmen that have been on the rise in the state for a while now. The southeastern part of the country, especially Anambra State, has become a dead zone to citizens and security operatives alike as criminals go about their daily activities unchecked. More recently, Premium Times reported that a police station was attacked and two officers were killed in Aba Abia State. In another incident on Wednesday, hoodlums killed a police officer and raced down a patrol vehicle in Ecolobia in Anambra State. With all this that is going on in the South East, you can see that you know the people are not feeling safe anymore. Nobody feels safe. Lots of people do not feel safe because they don't know what is going on in the country anymore. The Fulani headers are always on rampage and they are taking people's life at will. Nobody stops them. Nobody checkmates the activities of the Fulani headers. People do not feel safe anymore. And that is the more reason why you see that people are scared. Now, confusion is everywhere. People are just setting up security outfits here and there. Everybody just acting on their own. It is really, really sad. Well, let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story as it were. Engineer Bravo says, whoever thinks Nigeria is not due to divide is a liar from the pit of hell. Can you um, fault him for this opinion? Of course, no. You know, that is what everybody and most people right now, or majority of the people are beginning to feel, that Nigeria is due to be divided. You know, because everywhere, everywhere is just in shambles, no coordination, no direction. Everyone is just moving whichever way he or she feels like. And, uh, you know, just serious challenges here and there. It's just really, really sad and unfortunate, if you'd ask me. Usman Sufi says, another ball goes rolling. Where are the Bakasi boys of yesteryears? What happened to them when they started to identify and execute high-profile criminals? Were they not disbanded? So long as no big wigs are arrested, the insecurities will continue. For they are the ones pulling the strings. At the end, all these networks will end up as political tools in 2023. Well, could he be right? Could he be wrong? We cannot tell, but to a very large extent, and you see that is where politics comes in. You know, that is where politics comes in. It is sad and unfortunate. Nobody knows for sure what this um, is going to happen in 2023. Even in 2023, is there going to be Nigeria again? Well, it is what it is. True Son says the Eastern Security Network is the best. This one is nonsense. Well, 
so far so good you cannot fault him because the eastern security network has proven its metal and has proven that it is the best in town well the initiators of the security outfit have a good idea but my advice to them and the entire team is to be very careful in confronting those gone men because these are the, the robbers who are who do not have mercy as it is Christopher Idoka says this security network is set by the enemy of the southeast it was formed to work against the eastern security network but they will not succeed it will not exceed this year their mission will be exposed okay do you agree with Christopher to a very large extent it might just be it might not be now Kings if it says without AK-47, these people can't defeat the Fulani headsmen. So there is no need to set them up. Setting them up might just be setting them up to go and die. Because without AK-47, they cannot confront the Fulani headsmen successfully. Well, don't you think there is a very good reasoning in what um, King Ifedi has said? For me, I think he has strong points. Without the AK-47 gun, you know, it might be difficult to confront the uh, the Fulani headsmen because these are AK-47 wielding Fulani headsmen that we are talking about. We are not just talking about, you know, people that peel for uh, goods and services or here and there. We are talking about gun wielding. So to a very large extent, it is what it is. We just hope that these people are not being set up to go and die, you know, the way King Ivedi is suggesting. Another person says, oh, join and layers with the Eastern Security Network so that you can crush both bandits, Fulani headsmen, armed robbers, ritualists, ETC. Well, will they be able to join with Eastern Security Network? The Eastern Security Network might not even be ready to join forces with anyone. It is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular situation, as it were? It is sad and unfortunate if you truly ask me. That is what I feel. You know, the level of security, insecurity in the country is just um, alarming. And you, to a very large extent, you cannot fault people who are coming up to set up security outfits because they are tired of status quo. They need a change. They want things to change. And they cannot fold their hands and continue to see. But be that as it were... We keep our fingers crossed to see how long they would last. Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever you post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.